Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Linux Tutions. Myself Mansoor Lassan, I'm Senior Linux and a DevOps Consultant in IT Marcus Technologies, powered by Source Planet. Uh, in this video, we're gonna continue our previous video series that is related to Jenkins tutorials. Uh, previously, we saw uh, uh, code deployment uh, to a web server using Jenkins. In this video, uh, we're gonna continue and we will look for some more uh, features of the Jenkins. Uh, nowadays, uh, people are using Jira for uh, their software development lifecycle, and they manage to uh, they manage their workflow and their workload and their task management through Jira. Uh, and also, they are using Jenkins for uh, automated deployment. So people uh, like to do some automation uh, uh, with uh, their uh, when whenever the uh, build runs, uh, they they would like to some comment on project uh, or 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 on the relevant tickets. Uh, for this sake, uh, uh, Jenkins uh, provided a plugin that uh, actually integrate your uh, Jira with your Jenkins. So whenever you need to update any ticket that is relevant to any builds, you can update it. So let's begin. Uh, for this sake, we, first we need to install a plugin uh, in Jenkins. Go to Manage Jenkins. Go to Manage Plugins. In the Manage Plugins, you would uh, you would need to go to the Available section and search for a plugin called Jira. So I already installed it, so it would be uh, display over here. So we would need this plugin. Uh, there is another plugin, Atlassian Jira Software Cloud, but we are not using this one. Uh, currently we are using this uh, at project level. So uh, we need to install this plugin. After the installation, uh, the second thing you need to do is you need to create your access token. For this, go to your account uh, from which you want to update the ticket I have already account uh, so what I need to do is I need to go to the uh, avatar of my profile and then go to the account setting in the account setting uh, I would need to create a access key uh, I need to go to the security and need to create a API token uh, and here from here I can create an API token and I can give it uh, give it a name as uh, Jira Jenkins. Uh, this is a friendly name. You can give any name that you would like to. So I, I can co copy. I I'm not going to uh, reveal this because this is a sensitive information. I'm just going to copy it. And then I need to go to the Jenkins again. Manage Jenkins. Uh, after the installation of the plugin uh, in the configure system. Uh, we need to search for Jira. Uh, Jira. Oh, okay. Here, uh, we need to add a site. Okay. Uh, so, where, where? okay. From here, we need to click on the Jira, and then uh, first we need to secure our token somewhere. Eventually, I need to reveal that token. Uh, here in the URL Jira URL you uh, you would need to provide your server URL just copy and paste it you uh, we don't need to change anything if we have issue pattern then we can define over, uh, over here otherwise we can leave it uh, we can uh, check on update relevant Jira issue for all builds uh, now we need to supply uh, credentials for this, we need to uh, supply the username and password. Uh, we can uh, name uh, this here. We need to specify the email address that we're going to use for login to Jira Cloud. Uh, in our case, uh, data backup is 901 at gmail.com. Password is the API key that I copied from, uh, from the token. And then ID could be anything. Uh, I'm saying uh, Jenkins Jira. So I need to add it. From here, I need to select Jenkins uh, Jira. This is this is the credentials. Uh, now I need to validate the settings. If everything goes well, I can see the success. Now uh, I can save this. Next thing I would need to do is I need to go to my project that I I gonna test with. Before that, I need to create a um, a, a ticket at least. So I'm going to create, go to my project and I'm creating a ticket. 
uh, integrate Jira and Jenkins with this ticket. Control C, Control V. As, uh, I can assign it to me and then create. And now I need to note the ticket number, which is YT6. Now I go, uh, need to go to the Jenkins uh, Jira. That uh, this is the project uh, I'm gonna up, uh, use for update the tickets. The next thing uh, here, uh, you can you could see the Jira sites. It all are automatically available. Uh, if you have multiple site, it will be uh, listed in the in this particular down uh, drop down. Next thing, I need to add some uh, post bill action. So I'm saying. Uh, Okay, update, uh, update the ticket. Mm. Okay, uh, I just need to find the option. I could not see update Jira ticket. Okay, this is uh, this is the option I was looking for. Uh, in the selector section, I need to select the explicit. Here, I need to specify the ticket number that I would like to update, and then I just need to save it. After this, uh, I need to go to the build and click on the build now. Uh, if I go to the console output, it says updating issue YT6. If I go to the ticket, uh, which is uh, YT6. So here is YT6. So from here I can see that uh, message from Jira. And if I click over here, I, I, I will be redirected to the uh, build that sends actually the message to the Jira. So uh, this is how you can integrate your uh, tickets. If you have multiple tickets like uh, relevant ticket to the, this build like uh, go to the configure and I would like to update one more ticket uh, with the same comment on like I have another ticket yt-5 uh, so I, I want to update whenever the build is uh, run, uh, build run uh, I want to run uh, update both tickets there and I, I want to notify the people that uh, we have run the build uh, on uh, related to this particular ticket so we just need to save build now so in the 17 build, uh, we will see uh, that both ticket will got an update. If I go to the uh, YT5, so I can see uh, job 17 has an update for this ticket. So people got to know that uh, we uh, we have some build run. Uh, and similarly, if I go to YT6, so I can see. Uh, the ticket has an update related to build 70 so that is how you can uh, integrate your update tickets uh, with uh, Jira uh, uh, with Jenkins uh, to Jira uh, I hope this video will help you a lot uh, if you like this video don't forget to share subscribe our channel uh, this is our channel links uh, Linux tuition uh, where you could find a lot of videos about the cloud native computing and DevOps and SecOps so uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.